Hello everybody, I got this really cool Neocube for Christmas from Poison Stinger and I learned how to do a few things with it that were really cool so I thought that I would come on here and show you how to make a couple of the easier items so if you've just gotten a Neocube and you want to learn how to make something cool you can do it without too much problem. Now the easiest shape to work with by far is the hexagon. They're very easy to work with because they're easy to pull apart even if you mess up. And they're pretty. So there's two ways to make a hexagon and I will go ahead and show you both ways. The first way, you just start out with some beads linked together. Doesn't really matter how many. And you will count down three. One, two, three. And then you'll count down three more. One, two, three. And link them with this end bead right in between those two. So it makes a nice little ring like that. And you see that it is linked to two beads, so you know that it's linked correctly. You don't want to start turning it this way. You want to keep turning it in the same direction and go all the way around. And what happens is it makes you a nice little hexagon. Now, if you want to be more complicated or whatever, you can just simply count off six beads, break them off, make them into a circle, and then you want to take the rest of your lines right here and place it right there. Oh no, it's stuck to only one bead. I'm going to need to break that off very carefully and turn it around so that it will stick to two beads. When I see that it's sticking to two beads, I know that it's interlinked properly and I can start to bring that around. It'll stick for you, so that's pretty nice. And now I have my hexagon. Now a standard Neocube Alpha will make 12 hexagons and we will be utilizing all of those hexagons today for our projects. I'm going to show you how to make a hot air balloon and a scuba diver helmet. And you can make both of those using these 12 hexagons right here. So the first thing we want to do is start linking our hexagons and we do not want to see them interlinked. You see how they're connecting off kilter like this? We don't want that. We want them to link straight across from each other so that they're paired up equally like that. The reason for this is so that when we go to put our project together everything will match up properly. If some of them are like this and others like this, it won't quite work. So we want to make sure that all of our hexagons are linking like this and I am just going to make some little hexagons. Now, did you just see that? It linked like this. That tells me right away that I need to stop and turn it over so that it will link correctly. Oh, I did it again and you turn it over. So now I have one U and we're going to go ahead and make three of these U's Now that we have our three U's, we want to go ahead and connect them the rest of the way. The way that we connect them the rest of the way is to just take this empty spot here and touch them together. It makes this cool little starting to be a 3D look here. We'll do that with all three of them. Now, for the hot air balloon, we want to link up the edges. Now you see that those interlinked. We don't want that so we're going to carefully take that off and we need to open this up so we just break it apart turn it inside out and link it back again. Now it should link up properly. See how that's linking up properly now? And we have the same problem on this side so I'm going to break it apart turn it inside out and link it again. Now we have all three of them linking together you can see how they look. Now, I'm going to make the basket first, so I'm just going to pinch these middle two together like that. Now I'm going to raise these two up, and you can stick your fingers in the holes, it's okay. And I'll kind of give you a side view of this as well. And you want to touch these ends together. Okay. And with a little pinch, we now have our beautiful hot air balloon 
with basket. It is gorgeous. Something you can place on your desk. And then when you get mad, you can squish it and make it again. It's gorgeous. Now, before we just go ahead and squish this one, we can carefully pull it apart. And because they're hexagons, it makes it very easy to do. Just pull it apart right along the seams. Right. Now we have these three again, same ones. And we're just going to pull one off, set it to the side, and we'll be using that in a moment. Now the remaining two, we'll just link those together like so. And we'll take this bottom piece here, and we're just going to match it up to one of the bigger holes. And now we have a handsome scuba diver helmet, or a globe, or a Fabergé egg, or whatever you want to call it. It's wonderful. So those are two things that you can make with hexagons as soon as you get your Neo Cube and you can look cool to your friends too.